I am so happy to see so many people restless at home. So happy. <laughs> people realize how stupid TV shows are now. <laughs> they just sit around and they're like, how many seasons did you watch recently? Like, that's insane. They have this hobby where they, they come home and they're tired. They're, after a long day, like, you just want to zone out. I've been there. I get it. I like movies. But, um, but you come home and you do that because you're tired, because you don't have the energy to go pursue a hobby or do something extra or go for a hike or whatever, whatever it is, you just want to watch TV. Cool. But now we're stuck at home and you're doing that all the time, all the time. You've devoured Netflix. There's nothing left. <laughs> Can you imagine how bored you must be in that regard? Because you don't have a creative hobby you need a creative hobby. You need to paint, get some clay, and make something, learn to code, write a book, call your mom. She's probably missing you. Call her up. Like, you, you've got to be creative, though, in all honesty. Every other endeavor of yours that you, that you use for entertainment is boring because there's a part of your brain that isn't getting stimulated. It doesn't matter what that thing is. Even video games lack the creativity necessary to keep your mind occupied. You might not like your job. You might think work is super stressful. You're really happy to come home. But at work, you're pushed to be creative to solve problems in one way or another. And if you're not, you probably hate your job. <laughs> so I'm so fascinated by social media and friends talking to them on the phone Oh my God, people go and stir crazy. I, I know we've seen some celebrity meltdowns on the whole social medias and it's people can't handle staying at home. Why? Because they're not being creative. They're bored. And that's, that's really interesting to me. It makes me happy because TV has its place. Okay, watching things, passive entertainment has its place, like I described. You're exhausted. You just want to tune out. It's entertaining. Get it. But can you imagine your whole life? That's the only thing you do for entertainment. Games, movies, shows, anything along those lines. If that's what you do for your whole life for entertainment, you're bored out of your mind. <laughs> it's not an individual difference thing. It's not something like, oh, well, Maybe you're saying that, Luke, but someone else could play video games every day of their life and be happy. Yeah, I could, I could see that. And there's, there's hundreds of different video games, right? Thousands, right? And they're always coming out with new ones. I get it. But if you take one step back, you're still just playing a game, right? <laughs> you change the game. You change the time of day you're playing. You change who you play with. Great. You still got to turn off the PC, who plays on consoles? Come on, people. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I'm really curious to see what creativity. The reason I like all this is what I'm about to say. I'm really curious to see what creativity comes out of this from my neighbors, friends, family, all of them. What creativity do they pre to produce? Like, do people pick up a pencil and start sketching again? Do we do we open online stores? Do I mean, maybe. <laughs> Whatever it is, whatever that creativity thing is for each individual person, I'm really excited for them to pursue that. Give me a sec. I got to call my mom back. Then if I may.